MWZ has this insane mechanic that not a lot of you guys probably know about. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. I just figured this out and it absolutely is insane. And it can help you dish out more damage depending on what you're doing. I'm Nomad and today's video we're going to go over this mechanic. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it as it helps me and the channel grow. But it also helps this video go out to more people and it helps the algorithm honestly. Subscribe to the channel as we cover everything MWZ and we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. This mechanic has to do with the LTV. This vehicle you get get from doing a cargo contract as most of you guys know as you guys can see i am at the ltv i'm doing the mission so the ltv as you guys know it is the vehicle with the turret at the top you guys can see i have an aether tool and a shatter blast mod well the way this works is if you get into the turret of the ltv you can use these mods to upgrade the turret it is not equipped to my gun. You can see down there at the bottom right. It is equipped to the turret on the LTV. You can see I have the ammo mod right there. It does not allow you to pack a punch it, but you can change the rarity of it and add an ammo mod to it. Here's the beautiful thing about it, because you guys may be thinking, well, what happens when the LTV gets destroyed? If your LTV gets destroyed at any point in the match, as long as you have done that, it doesn't matter what LTV you go into after that, you will be able to have an upgraded LTV turret permanently for the rest of the game. Go into an LTV, activate those ammo mods, activate the rare aether tools, whatever it may be. And then any LTV you enter, whether it's somebody else's that's driving, a randoms, yours, it will have those upgrades applied to it. This is insane because there are so many mechanics in zombies that I think a lot of us do not know about. And this is a new one. I haven't seen anyone talk about it. I just figured this out. We're going to park this thing here, let it fix itself up while we grab the other LTV. Let's let this thing heal up. Just so you guys know, you don't need to be in the vehicle for it to heal as long as it's parked there. I got an LTV there. That is the LTV I activated the turret mods for. If we go in this one, we will also have the turret mods. I do not know why my HUD is not spawning. Oh, look, there it goes. Shatter Blast just procced on it. So it does work across the board no matter what LTV you get into in the match. This is super fantastic. This can help you in a tier 3 zone, tier 2 zone, whatever it may be. This is crazy because there are so many mechanics in zombies that I'm sure we do not know about yet. I'm hitting mechanics, easter eggs, different ways that things can work together just like this with the LTV and ammo mods. I think there's plenty more out there that we do not know about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. That would be absolutely insane. I appreciate you guys for staying till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel as we cover everything MWZ. I'm super excited for season one to drop in the tier four zone. I appreciate every single one of you guys and as always stay happy, stay hyped and have a beautiful day.